let's get into it. So before I, I get into the meat and potatoes of this, uh, I, I want to share uh, a verse that I love. There are a few Bible verses that have had uh, you know, a very big impact in my life and uh, set me on the path towards this uh, chronic disease crusade that I've taken. But one of the verses that has stood out to me over the years, and I've tried to make uh, sense of it in light of the uh, epidemic of chronic diseases, is uh, Leviticus 17, verse 11. And, um, you know, just this is part of the verse, but it says, you know, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. You know, other versions might say the life of the body is in the blood. And, and believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, there is, there's a lot more significance to that statement than uh, you, can, uh, you can imagine. So I want you to take a look at that illustration down there. Uh, towards the end, you see um, uh, you know, the reddish uh, tinge. That actually represents a blood vessel. Okay? It's the one on the bottom represents the ideal blood vessel. Okay? It's a tube, and blood flows right through it. Now the one on top of it with uh, sugar represents what happens when you have a lot of sugar in your blood. Okay? Now I want to show you what happens when you have a lot of sugar in your bloodstream and how it affects all of the different organ systems. And I want you to pay attention to what our conventional medical system does because it likes to qualify it as separate diseases even though they all have the same root cause. Okay? Take a look at this. When you have a lot of excess sugar in your bloodstream when it affects your heart, it's called high blood pressure. But let me give you an example. You see this water bottle right here? Okay, you see how the water flows smoothly? Okay, what happens if I add sugar into this water? A lot of sugar. What's gonna happen to the consistency of the water? It gets thicker, okay? Now, if I have a heart that's pumping the blood, okay, what does the heart have to do in order to pump thick water. Work harder. work harder, okay, and what happens when your heart is consistently working harder? We call that high blood, pressure. high blood pressure, you see that? What happens to your pancreas? Okay, now the pancreas is that little organ that's uh, right inside, just under the liver, and it's responsible, actually, for uh, producing something called insulin. Okay, the pancreas produces insulin, and insulin's job is to remove sugar from your blood and put it inside of your cells. Sugar is actually energy, okay? And if you have a lot of sugar that's in your bloodstream, it then gets stored up as fat. Fat is nothing but unused energy, okay? But if something goes wrong and your pancreas begins to malfunction and that sugar stays in your blood, what do we call that? Type two? Diabetes, Diabetes okay? now. There's another organ called the kidneys. You know, you have two kidneys, one to the left, one to the right. They're bean-shaped organs, okay? The kidney's job is really to filter your blood, remove a lot of waste, put it in so you can urinate it out, okay? Pee pee, right? That's one of the things the kidney does. It also helps with things like high blood pressure, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the kidneys are themselves need a stable blood supply in order to function optimally, okay? That's the way God intended it. But remember, if you have too much sugar in your bloodstream and the sugar is thickening the blood and the blood is, in, is thick, which means it doesn't flow like it should, that means certain organs aren't going to receive the blood supply they're supposed to get, correct? And so what happens when the kidneys, it's kind of like you, if I deprive you of oxygen, you start to choke, right? You can't breathe right, you start to choke and eventually you'll die. And that's what happens with your kidneys. When the kidneys are not getting stable blood supply, they begin to die, okay? And what do we call that? Chronic kidney disease, that's right. And then when you get to like kidney failure, uh, that's, that's why you'll see uh, people with diabetes, uh, um, uh, you'll see people on dialysis, excuse me, right? The two biggest causes of dialysis uh, or kidney failure in, in, in the world really, high blood pressure and diabetes, okay? So you see they all have a common, common root cause, right? 